Here are the 10 best examples of how artificial intelligence is used by us every single day. Sometimes when we hear the word artificial intelligence, we think that this is, has nothing to do with us. It's something we don't come in contact with in our day-to-day -day lives. Actually, we do with so many different um, elements of our lives. If you pick up your phone in the morning, let's say you have an iPhone, and it opens up automatically by recognizing your face. This is basically artificial intelligence in practice. It uses machine vision to scan your face and it uses machine learning algorithms to make sure that this is actually your face and giving you access to your phone. Then you might check your social media feed. You go on Facebook, Twitter or anywhere else, Instagram. And again, what is happening here is those will use artificial intelligence in lots of different ways. For, for a start, the information they're giving you is based on your history, what you've opened up before, what you like to see. So again, driven by artificial intelligence. Security, so it will filter out certain bits of information. It might even look for fake news that is uh, filtering out. So social media companies are using this a lot uh, companies like Instagram and Facebook have just started using um, machine learning to identify cyberbullying, for example. So this is, again, running in the background without us necessarily knowing. Then you might send an email. And again, you have a spell checker. Or you might use a tool like Grammarly to help you write better and just correct spelling mistakes. Again, these tools use artificial intelligence. They use a natural language processing capabilities to check what you're saying. And again, when you send an email or receive emails, again, spam filters are driven by artificial intelligence. They try to monitor what is with the traffic that is happening across the different uh, email networks, and it will identify potential spam and filter those out. You might then do a Google search. And again, what is happening here is Google will serve you what it knows about you, what you're interested in. This is all driven by artificial intelligence. They couldn't search the entire internet in a split second without AI. They couldn't understand you as a person and the themes you're interested in and the websites you want to look at. So every search result is now personalized to you using artificial intelligence. The other tool we are increasingly using is voice. So we're using Siri or Cortana or Alexa and Google Home. And these tools, again, use natural language processing and natural language generation, which is driven by artificial intelligence. So the simple capability of understanding what we are saying is done using artificial intelligence. Them then returning an answer is enabled by AI. So this is another great example. We have lots of smart home devices. Think of your Nest thermostat, for example. This is now using artificial intelligence to understand how you're using your house. It will use information. It will learn how long it will take to heat up your house and start at the right time. And soon we will have smart everything. We now have smart fridges that make wine recommendations. We have smart uh, cars. Everything is becoming smarter, and all of this is enabled by artificial intelligence. You do all of this before you even go to work. Then you might drive to work and you might use um, Google Maps. This is a tool that uses artificial intelligence to monitor live traffic conditions, compare them to previous traffic conditions, use weather information to then recommend the best route for you to drive to work. If you have a modern car, it might also have driver assist functionalities again, driven by artificial intelligence, monitoring where you're driving, where the other cars are, that you're staying in line. And soon we will have autonomous vehicles. We already have this in operation. Just imagine you now live in Mountain View in California, and instead of driving to work by yourself, you take a taxi. You can now go to Google's sister company Waymo, order a self-driving car that will pick you up and deliver you to, to, to another place in California. And this again is driven purely by AI. Another great example of artificial intelligence in practice is security. When you do your banking, for example. So you might buy something in a shop 
And this transaction will be checked automatically using artificial intelligence. They will take in lots of information on where you are, what you normally purchase, and then the artificial intelligence will make a decision saying, is this a valid transaction or should this be declined? And these tools are getting better by the day using AI. You then fancy a bit of shopping, you go to Amazon, and Amazon's recommendations are driven by artificial intelligence. So they have learned what you like, what other people like you seem to like, and therefore they will make recommendations. Amazon is now getting so confident about their recommendations that they are starting to do what they call anticipatory shipping. So they will start shipping goods towards you because they know that you're going, that you're going to buy them at some point in the future. And finally, you get back home, you settle down, on the sofa and watch a movie, you put on Netflix, and what Netflix is recommending you is driven by artificial intelligence. So they again understand your past viewing history, and 80% of what we are watching is now driven by Netflix recommendations. And they go and become a lot smarter. They will now look at the time of the day and what normally you want to watch. They will even give you the tile that is designed specifically for you. So if you like an actor, they will customize this tile with this actor in to make it more enticing for you to watch. So hopefully they are 10 amazing examples of how artificial intelligence is used in your everyday life. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.